Hi guys, uh, my name is Mithun and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube tutorial, I'm going to compare three of my favorite uh, web applications that I use to record my screen, webcam and uh, do a bunch of uh, things when I create YouTube tutorials and I share uh, videos for my workplace. So without any further ado, let's get started. Right off the bat, uh, the first platform that I'm going to compare is uh, Loom. Loom is a pretty old web application that has been around for quite a long now. I don't even remember when it was initially launched, but uh, I have been using on and off uh, for almost uh, two and a half years. I uh, use it primarily to share my screen with my clients and to create uh, small tutorials because I have not yet upgraded to the premium account. Although I did upgrade earlier, but I decided not to continue with that uh, business account because it was not worth the money that i was spending on that particular web application now the problem with uh, loom is not uh, related to any of its features or the quality of recording that you get the problem is the pricing structure see although they claim to give you a free account but the free account does not actually have that many options you can just record up to 25 videos and after that your account will be of no use unless you upgrade to the business account also each of these 25 videos cannot be longer than 5 minutes, which means that uh, if you have anything that you want to record for more than 5 minutes, you are out of luck. So for that reason and that reason alone, I think uh, Loom is going to be a very tough platform to use if you want to uh, do some serious screen recording and webcam recording. On top of that, one more thing that I found uh, problematic while using Loom is that... Uh, Although it actually gives you a lot of options, that is quite enough for a free account. Uh, you cannot actually resize your uh, webcam to your liking. They give you two options in which you can actually uh, have a bigger uh, webcam footage or you can actually uh, shrink it down. But it is not up to you. You cannot actually drag and uh, resize the webcam footage if you want. So for that reason, I think it is lacking in that uh, area also. On top of that, there is no green screen removal option, which means that uh, if you have a background, even if it is green screen, uh, you won't be able to remove that with Loom. So for that reason, it does not actually make any sense when you uh, have to pay $8 per month and still not get uh, basic features that are even available in free softwares today. So for that reason, I think uh, Loom is going to be my least favorite option in this list. And not to mention that uh, Loom is a web application, which means that uh, you don't own anything and you will have to pay for it uh, as long as you want to use it. So for that reason, I don't prefer Loom. Now, the second option is uh, PepoCloud.com. PepoCloud is a wonderful web application that I've been using since the last seven, eight, seven or eight months. And uh, during this period, I've noticed that it actually fills in all the gaps that uh, Loom has left in the market. For example, you can uh, have a lot of editing tools at your disposal right in the editor itself that is provided by PepoCloud itself. So you don't need to uh, download the footage and edit it in some other application. You can just edit the footage after recording is completed in Pepo Cloud itself. So for that reason, Pepo Cloud wins the race against Loom. And also when it when you compare the pricing, Pepo Cloud is a lot more cheaper and offers a lot more feature at the same price. So no matter which uh, pricing pr pricing package you compare with Pepo Cloud, you are still going to feel like Pepo Cloud offers a lot of value for the amount of money that you have to pay. In my personal opinion, I've been using it for seven months and I can tell you that I've replaced a lot of software in my arsenal with just one web application and I don't mind paying the premium for a bunch more features. So if you're somebody who needs a serious web application to record your screen webcam, uh, do a bunch of editing and add a bunch of uh, filters and effects and some flair to your videos after the recording is completed, go check out Pepo Cloud. Now the third platform on this list is OBS. OBS is a powerful streaming and uh, screen recording application. It is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux and uh, tell you what it is completely free. You don't have to pay anything as it is an open source platform. Uh, it is quite obvious that you can do whatever you want with it and uh, not pay anything in return. Considering how powerful OBS is, it actually makes no sense that you're not actually paying anything for it. To name a few, uh, OBS has uh, multiple scenes options that is not available in any other software in this uh, market today. 
on top of that you can add multiple sources which means that you can capture from multiple webcams at the same time you can actually capture from multiple screens at the same time and you can also add multiple microphones at the same time this means that this software is completely capable of uh, hosting a fully fledged uh, podcast and even uh, broadcast online on uh, YouTube and various other streaming platforms. In fact, uh, there is a setting that you can actually use to just uh, connect to your streaming platform with just one click. So that's an amazing platform option to have and uh, it's missing in almost all other options and all other alternatives in this uh, segment. So for that reason, I think uh, Ubase is a great platform if you are so someone who streams a lot and uh, also has a requirement to record the screen every now and then. Now, the problem with OBS is that OBS is a open source platform and just like any other open source platform, OBS also shares a lot of uh, uh, similar nicks and uh, similar issues. First and foremost, you will have to do everything on your own. Right from the installation process, everything is bare minimum uh, that is available on OBS, which means that you start, you will have to start adding scenes and then you will have to add sources to those scenes, configure your microphone, com configure your webcam, uh, decide what type of uh, screen recording you want to take, uh, set up streaming and everything. A lot of thing needs to be done manually on OBS, which is a downside to using this software. But considering the fact that it is a completely open source platform, it I cannot actually complain about it, right? If I'm being honest, which of these platform would I actually recommend somebody who's just getting started? I would say that you should definitely go with Pepo Cloud. And if you want to stream and uh, have a powerful broadcasting software, I would uh, strongly recommend you to use OBS instead. But uh, I would not recommend you to use Loom because uh, uh, in the free account itself, Loom does not offer you much. And in the premium account, uh, you get a bunch of features, but there are a lot of missing features as well. And if you compare it with OBS directly, you will see that OBS provides you with effects and filters that you can use to manipulate the webcam footage, remove green screens and even do color correction inside of the OBS software. So that's a game changer, right? You don't have to actually edit the footage in your video editor. So uh, in conclusion, I would strongly recommend you to use either uh, Pepo Cloud or OBS. So that was my tutorial comparing three of my favorite screen recording and uh, screen uh, sharing platforms together, Pepo Cloud, uh, Loom and uh, OBS. If you have any doubts regarding this tutorial, please drop them in the comment section below. If you want to ask any question, you can also drop them in the comment section. If you like this video, please click on the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in my next tutorial. Till then, take care and bye-bye.